Hi, I'm Cedric from RayThings.com. Today, we are testing the Samsung MU6300. It's the newer version of last year's popular TV, the KU6300. It's a decent TV, good for gaming, but not for HDR. We bought the 55 inch for a review, and it is also available in a lot of other sizes, from 40 inch all the way up to 75. The picture quality should be the same across sizes, except as usual, bigger TVs usually have more uniformity issues. In this video, we will look at our test results for the picture quality, as well as comparing it to a few other TVs. But before doing that, let's take a look at the design. The design of the MU6300 is very similar to the KU6200 from last year, and it is pretty basic. The build quality is in line with other TVs in this price range, and almost everything is made of plastic. It has a center stand, but it's a bit wide and not very stable. The bottom of the TV is a bit thicker than the top. All the inputs are located at the same place at the back. They are facing the side, which is great for accessibility if you want to mount it. It has a direct lit backlight, so the temperature is well spread out across the screen. Now for the picture quality. The Samsung MU6300 uses a VA LCD panel, so the blacks in the dark room are good. The native contrast ratio is better than most TVs, and about the same as last year. However, it doesn't have local dimming to further improve the blacks. In this price range, local dimming is not very common, so you will have to upgrade to a higher-end TV if you want a good implementation of that feature. The brightness of the screen is average. It won't be very bright even in HDR. The good news though is it doesn't vary in time like on some other TVs. It also doesn't vary too much depending on the content. The MU6300 does support HDR. However, it doesn't have a white color gamut, so it doesn't really benefit from it. If you want to benefit from HDR, you will have to upgrade to a higher-end TV like the MU7000. The viewing angle is bad. The picture looks washed out if you watch the TV from the side, and the blacks look gray. The uniformity of the screen is average. You can see a grid on the screen on solid colors or panning shots, which creates the dirty screen effect. The edges of the screen are also a bit brighter. Unfortunately, all 24p content, so all movies, will have a small jutter on this TV. Not everyone noticed that small jutter though, so you might be fine. Check out our other video that explains that problem in more details. The motion blur is good. It does have a trail following moving objects, but depending on the transition, it's not that bad, and most people should be happy in that aspect, even gamers. It does have black frame insertion like most Samsung TVs. It works well, as you can see in that picture, but you cannot use that in game mode, so it's useless for playing video games. It is a 6 Hz TV, but it does have the motion interpolation feature. This means 30 frames per second content or lower can be interpolated to 60, but native 60 frames per second content cannot be interpolated. This is why it only has one slider in the Auto Motion Plus settings, instead of two like on 120Hz TVs. The input lag is great, about 20 milliseconds, no matter the content, even HDR games. So it is great to play fast video games, even on the Xbox One S or the PlayStation 4 Pro. It has a semi-gloss finish, which is okay at handling reflections. It's on par with other TVs in this price range, but not as good as the glossy finish of higher-end TVs. For an average room, this isn't much of an issue, but in a bright room, this might be a problem. Now for the smart features. The MU6300 runs the latest iteration of Samsung's smart platform. It's easy to navigate, but a bit slow at times. It comes with a smart remote, which has a built-in microphone, but no on-screen pointer. So should you buy it? In its price range, it's good, especially great for video games. It's about the same as the previous KU6300, so between the two, just get whichever one is cheaper. It does have a loss of picture quality at an angle though, so if you have a wide living room, get instead an LCD TV with an IPS panel, like the LG UJ6300, or even better, the Sony X800E. Keep in mind though that the picture quality won't be as good as a Samsung directly in front, especially in a dark room. And if you care about HDR, no TV in this price range can fully display the advantage of HDR. So you will need to spend a bit more to get a TV like the Sony X900E, which can get brighter and display better colors. So that's it. 
you can check out our full test results on our website. And if you like this video, subscribe to our channel and see you next time.